Welcome to this demonstration video on ArcGIS Quick Capture. My name is Wing Chung. I'm a professor of geography and GIS at Palomar College, and also an assistant director of the Geotech Center. In this demonstration video, we'll go over how to create a feature layer and configure its properties. And then we'll also look at how do we create a Quick Capture project to make use of the feature layer and customize some of the properties of the Quick Capture form. And then I'll show you some screenshots to show you how the Quick Capture works on a mobile device. To provide you with some background, let's say the Palomar College Environmental Health and Safety Department asked us to design a form that can be used on their mobile device so that they can easily enter information when they're performing fire hydrant inspections on their properties. Aside from the main campus, which is located in San Marcos, California, there are also numerous satellite campuses of Palomar College with the newest satellite campus located in Fallbrook, California, and also Rancho Bernardo, California. In part one, we're going to create this featured layer and configure its properties. You'll need to first go to ArcGIS Online by going to ArcGIS.com, sign into your ArcGIS Online account, and here, go to Contents, and select New Item, and select Feature Layer, and go to Build a Layer, and select Points. We'll be creating an empty feature layer that will be used later to store our fire hydrant observation. Click on Create, rename this layer Fire Hydrant Demo New, or whatever name that you would like, and go to Next. Select the extent of your study area. I'm going to select approximate location of the Palomar College main campus here, and go to Next. And again, give your hosted feature layer a name. So I'm going to call it Fire Hydrant Demo New, just like what I have done before. Give it tags, which allows it to be discovered easily. And specify the location and click Done. Now, once the feature layer is created, we'll still need to specify what are the fields that need to be included in that feature layer. So I'm going to go to data, then go to fields. And here you can see some fields have been automatically created for me. But I still need some additional fields for my inspection. I'm going to create a field called facility ID. This is where I'll be able to enter the name of the campus where I'm doing my inspection, whether it be in San Marcos or Rancho Bernardo or Fallbrook or others. String is the data type. The maximum number of characters is 50. And someone needs to provide this information. So I'm going to uncheck allow no values. I'm going to enter additional fields here. Go to add and give it a tag ID. That's another field that I need to create. String is the data type. Maximum number of characters is 50. And here, I'll leave allow null values checked. And click add new field. And then go to add and add in a third attribute called leak detect. And this is where one can specify whether the hydrant that they're inspecting is leaking or not and maximum number of characters, 10, and someone needs to provide this information. So I'm going to uncheck Allow No Values and click Add New Field. And you can see the three fields that we just created, Facility ID, Tag ID, and Leak Detect, are here on the list. Now we can set up a domain for some of our attributes so that one can only enter the acceptable values within the domain when they fill out the form. 
click on facility ID and click on create list. And here is where one was specified where they're doing their inspection, whether it be in San Marcos or is it Fallbrook? Or is it Rancho Bernardo? Or is it other location? Click Save. And you can see the list of acceptable values that are in the domain for this facility ID field is now listed here. We're also going to set up a similar domain for the leak detect field. So click on leak detect here. And you can see currently there's no domain or list of values created. So we'll create it. Click on create list. And it is going to say no for the Hydra is not leaking. Or is it yes for the hydrant is leaking? And click save. And we're now we're going to configure our map to show the points based on whether they're leaking or not. So click on visualization. And now click on the change style icon. And under choose an attribute to show, we're going to choose it choose the attribute leak detect and under the drawing style we're going to click on options and we're going to change those points that are not leaking to green click ok and those points that are leaking to red and click ok and now click done and click Save Layer. And we have just finished creating our feature layer that will be used in the next part of this video within our Quick Capture project. In this part of the demo video, I'll show you how do we create a Quick Capture project and customize the form within the Quick Capture project. So continuing in ArcGIS Online from the previous part, or you can just sign into your ArcGIS Online account. Now click on this App Launcher icon, select Quick Capture, and here we're going to select we want to create a new project, and we're going to use an existing layer that we have created. In particular, we're going to use that feature layer that we created in the last part of this video. And you can see here is the layer that we previously created, so click on that. Now click Next. And I'm just going to accept the default, or you can change your title or recovery email. But I'm going to click Create here. Now you can see our Quick Capture project and the form that has been created for us. You may also see some errors and warning on the left side of the window, which we're going to fix in the following steps. So first, let's change the heading and also customize some of the icons that will show up in our Quick Capture project. Click on the name of this group of buttons here within your form. And we're going to change its label to read, is the hydrant leaking? And we're going to use one column. And you can see how that changed the orientation of the buttons in our Quick Capture form. And I'm going to hit Save to save those settings. And now we can change the properties of individual buttons within the form. So click on No. And we can change its size. I'm going to make it smaller. And we can change its shape or even its color. And then what we're going to do next just change some of the properties and what will happen when someone click on this button. So go to data. First of all, make sure that single point is selected because when someone click on the no button, I want Quick Capture to capture the point location 
of the hydrant that that individual is inspecting. Turn on take picture so that the individual can take a picture of the hydrant that they're inspecting. And next, we will customize those same things for the other icon that is in our form. So click yes and go to appearance and we'll change the size to smallest and it to a square shape and go to data, make sure single point is selected and take pictures turned on. Okay, so now that we have customized appearance of the icons and what will happen, we also need to customize what kind of input will be provided by the user when they click on these buttons. So let's click on the no button and click on data here. And now you can see here are the fields that we previously created when we were creating that feature layer that is now being used by Quick Capture. Let's first go to the tag ID field here and say that the user will be providing an input when they open this project. So now click create new and this will prompt the user to provide some information when they open this project. So I'm going to say, what is the hydrant's ID? Question mark. And make this a required user input and click create. Now, something else that the user should be providing is the location where they are doing this inspection. So under facility ID, I'm going to select button user inputs. And over here, I'm going to click create new. And for label, I'm going to enter, enter your location. And also make this a required user input and click create. And when I have those things specified, click save. Now I also need to specify the same things for the other button. So click yes. And here for facility ID, just like what I did before, I need to make sure that the user will select the location where they're doing their inspection. and make this a required user input and click create. Note, I don't have to specify the project input again, because the project input is something that is a setting that is universal to the project rather than the individual buttons within the project. So now hit save. And you can see on the left-hand side of my window, those errors have gone away. And now you can click on share and choose who you want to share your quick capture project and quick capture form with. I can pick my organization and click share to share not only the quick capture project, but also the feature layer and select Save Project and Share. And now, if I click on Share again, here you can see I can either share this form with my coworkers by giving them this link or by giving them this QR code. And they can scan the QR code and the form of this quick capture project will automatically open on their mobile device, which should already have quick capture installed. In the interest of time, in this part of the demo video, I'll show you the quick capture project that we have created 
and what it will look like on a mobile device. First of all, you need to make sure that ArcGIS Quick Capture is already installed in your mobile device or your coworker's mobile device. Now, once you provide them with the link or the QR code that you get from sharing your Quick Capture project in the previous part of this video, it should automatically open Quick Capture on their mobile device and it will point them to their workspace where they can see the project that you previously worked on. When they click on that project, the initial screen will prompt them to enter that hydrant's ID. And this is because we set this as the project user input when we were creating the Quick Capture project in the previous part of the video. Once they enter a hydrant ID here, such as 01, it's going to give you, give you or your coworker this question. Is the hydrant leaking? And depending on which button they click on, right, and actually regardless of which button they click on, it's going to ask them to take a photo because we turned on the take a photo option when we're configuring these buttons. And once they have taken a photo with their mobile device, it's going to ask them to enter their location because that is the button user input that we configure in the previous part of the video. And they can choose from these coded values that we code into the feature layer in the first part of the video. Once they have entered their location, you can see here, it will show that they have finished filling out the form. But you may see here in the upper right hand corner, the number one or whatever number is listed in this bubble. And that is basically telling you that the form has been completed, but it's currently still stored on the mobile device and hasn't been uploaded to ArcGIS Online yet. You can click on this icon to make sure that the observation right, has been logged or the form has been um, saved. And you can manually click Send to send your observation to ArcGIS Online at that instant. Or if you just wait 10 or 20 seconds that observations, assuming that you have internet connectivity, should be automatically sent to ArcGIS Online, at which point you should see the number next to this map icon in the upper right-hand corner will go away. So hopefully you find this demonstration video of ArcGIS Quick Capture useful. To see other demonstration videos and other curriculum resources, please visit us at the Geotech Center website. Thank you.